This is Rob Swatsky from the York campus of Harrisburg Area Community College in York, Pennsylvania. And in this podcast, we're continuing our review of the muscles of the lower extremity. Our next muscle is the iliacus. The iliacus is a large fan-shaped muscle that brings the leg forward when walking or running. Sprinters and football players often learn about this muscle the hard way because the iliacus is located in the inguinal or groin region. It's often one of the muscles involved in a pulled groin injury. The iliacus is also part of a muscle combo paired up with the psoas major into the iliopsoas muscle. The iliacus originates at the iliac crest of the pelvis as well as the upper two-thirds of the iliac fossa and also has an attachment at the anterior inferior iliac spine as well as part of the sacrum. Its insertion is onto the lesser trochanter of the femur and as part of the iliopsoas muscle group its tendon joins with the tendon of the psoas major at the same location. And acting with the psoas major muscle, its actions include flexion of the thigh at the hip, as well as lateral rotation of the thigh. Our next muscle is the psoas major, making up the iliopsoas muscle group along with the iliacus muscle. Soa is a name that refers to the loin, as in tenderloin. The psoas major originates along the transverse processes and bodies of all five of the lumbar vertebrae and inserts onto the lesser trochanter of the femur along with the iliacus. And like the iliacus, the psoas major is involved in flexing the thigh at the hip as well as laterally rotating the thigh. And also flexion of the vertebral column at the hip, especially when sitting up from a supine position. This muscle is also the reason why the traditional straight-backed sit-up has been replaced with the more abdominal crunch or curl to avoid excess tightening of the psoas major. Our next muscle is the tensor fasciae lati. Tensor means to make tense. Fasciae means of the band, which is a reference to the location of this muscle embedded in the iliotibial band, the deep fascia, the dense connective tissue along the lateral thigh. Lati means wide, which is a reference to the large width of the iliotibial band around the thigh, but I often like to intentionally mispronounce the word as latte and refer to the TFL as the coffee muscle. So when you come into anatomy lab, you have your latte at your hip, full and ready to go. Another way to remember the location of this muscle on the lateral side of the thigh is in the word lati, L-A-T, lat, lateral. The TFL originates along the iliac crest of the pelvic bone and inserts onto the iliotibial band, which then inserts onto the lateral epicondyle of the tibia. Like the iliacus and psoas major muscles, the TFL flexes the thigh as well as abducting and medially rotating the thigh at the hip joint. It also supports the hip and the knee as part of the iliotibial band. 